I'm actually playing multiple skills. I'm just thinking of it, but the only thing that's changing is the D and G string. Well, the A string that I'm doing here, the positioning of the fingers is the same. So the first one I did was... It's harmonic minor. If you do this one... That's natural alien minor. And I did a... It's Hungarian minor. And then the other one I did was, was a little bit of melodic minor. And that's all changing because of what I'm playing over the E. Uh, this isn't the correct way of learning these modes or whatever scales, what have you. I don't care because um, I don't know. I just play. But um, what is really important is the note choices that you choose and what you're going to play over it. This. So every time you do this, think consciously about what you're going to play for what scale and then the right terms and whatnot. So if you're going to play harmonic minor, it's cool. <laughs> That's cool. You can do that's pretty boring after a while though. You can do Hungarian minor. Which is really cool after a while if you do it just right. Um, then there's a lane which everyone knows because it's, it's a natural minor skill. simple uh, then it comes the more of the flavorful stuff as the melodic minor stuff comes in and that is really cool <laughs> So play around with some exotic scales, some scales that you're not used to playing, and then go from there. You can do some really cool things uh, phrasing-wise if you are keen of your ear. I still got a lot to learn. I still got a lot to um, figure out. Uh, key changes, modal changes, and stuff like that to make everything sound coherent and it actually sounds like you're sophisticated in what you're doing. So I got a lot to learn. But just start off with the basics and go from there. Uh, just use a drone note to identify what kind of scale you're playing over, uh, whether it be happy or sad or melancholy, for that matter. Uh, it all depends on what you're going for. Cool?